My name is Atsuchi Matsume. I'm 28. I've been working at this Odin shop since I graduated from college. And now I'm the manager after taking over from my father two years ago when his back pain worsened. Uh, it's cold today, so I'll prepare some extra. The store is reasonably prosperous, and I think there are many customers regardless of the season. Good work, manager. Good work. Good luck today. Manager, thanks for your hard work. Good work. Cold again today. We currently employ six part-timers and have three people on shift each day. Good work. Good work. Take care of the sign. But trouble comes when you least expect it. I thought I was good with people because of my background in this work, and I thought I was communicating well with the younger workers, but... I want to quit as soon as possible. Me too. Us too. I don't like it here. Actually, after work yesterday... I like you, manager. Will you go out with me? Oh, sorry. I didn't see it that way. I turned down a confession from Rena, a flamboyant part-timer. I think the store is thriving thanks to me, and I think it's contributing the most. Rena's been working for me for a year and a half, but I know that she secretly harasses part-timers she doesn't get along with behind their back, and her work attitude is not good either. I've warned her more times than I can count in the past year and a half. I'm happy you feel that way, but I'm sorry. I see. I understand. Then today, the five of them, including some who didn't even have a shift, came to the store before it opened and told me they wanted to quit. How long do I have to work? Okay, well, I'll have to find a new part-timer. Then can you give me two more weeks? Can you tell me why you want to quit just in case? Don't you feel sorry for me? Every time I see you, it's hard for me. Yeah. I'm disappointed in you, manager. I think I got the gist. Thanks. And I thought I still had a couple of weeks to find new part-timers, but we couldn't handle it for even a day. Can you go get their order? Are you listening? I'll go. The customer at the reservation is here. Someone handle it. I'll go. The only one who worked as usual was Saki Akawa, who didn't get along well with the other part-timer. The other girls are flashy, but Akawa is more of a delinquent type. That's why she was hacked off by Rina and the other. And at the end of the day's work, they went home without cleaning up the store. Hey, we haven't even finished cleaning yet. It's better than they weren't here. I'm so tired. They get carried away so quickly. Sorry to burden you, Aikawa. What are you going to do from now on? It's Friday, and if the other part-timers abandon their work like they did today, we'll never be able to run it. Our store has two floors, and as Aikawa said, the store can't be run by just one person. I wonder if that's how they're going to be for the next two weeks until they quit. The only remaining part-timer, Aikawa, is a 20-year-old who started working for us two years ago right after she graduated from high school. She's the oldest part-timer since I became the manager, as I had just taken over the store from my father. I'll send out a request to put up a part-time job posting and add tomorrow morning. Can we write it out until the new person comes in? Maybe I'll close the store for a while. That's not good! What are you going to do with the regulars like Minamoto-san and Maru-chan who come by every day? They look forward to coming by after work. We even keep their bottle. Well, if we could at least find one more person to work, we could run it. I'll see if I can find someone to come in and help out. Um, manager, can I ask my friends? They all love the Odon here, so they might be able to help. Really? That's great! You always let me take the Odon on the way home, so everyone loves this place. Manager, my friend said that she could come tomorrow. She has pink hair and a lot of ear piercings, but is that okay? No problem. Everyone wears a hat while working, so thank you so much. I'll put it in a group chat to see if there are any others who can help. And two of Aikawa's friends were to come and help us out. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Aikawa. Now we don't have to close the store. I'm glad. But all my friends are ex-delinquents, so they might be a little bit hard. But will that be okay? No problem at all. As long as they look clean. I'll come in tomorrow to explain the job. So I'll be with you an hour before my shift. How dependable. I need to do something to thank her. And the next day on Friday, as promised, Akawa and her friend came to the store one hour before work. Manager, my friend Mana looks like this and she seems unfriendly, but she's pretty diligent. Manager, are you okay with my hair color like this? Can I work here? 
I don't really care about hair color or things of that nature. As long as you look clean, I'm fine with it. On the contrary, I don't like it if the hair is dark but not clean. Mana, you look clean, so it's totally fine. Thanks for cooperating on such short notice. I don't think the other part-timers will work properly today anyway. So come over here and I'll teach you how to work, Mana. I'll do my best. And the two part-timers who were going to quit didn't listen again today. My name is Date Mana. I'm 20 years old. Teach Mana the job who's going to start working today. I mean, at least greet her properly. She's introducing herself. Oh, man. I don't want to give them a lecture inside the store because there's a lot of customers and it's not like I can leave the kitchen. I checked on them as I thought that. But Mana snapped before I did. You know, if you don't want to work here or teach me how to do the work, just go home. You're in the way. Stop just standing there. Mana, we're open for business, so don't say that. You're bothering the customers and the manager. Maybe it's better to let them quit as soon as possible if they want to. And the next day, I warned the whole crew before we opened. But the reaction was still the same. Can you step aside so I can pour some beer? Huh? You're so cocky. You're younger than me. You think you can beat me in a fight? If you're not going to work, why don't you go sit in the corner and play on your phone? You're in the way. Huh? Safi told me you're holding a grudge because you got rejected. How lame. <laughs> it's a shame to be the same woman. Oh, what's wrong with you? <sighs> the atmosphere in the store that day was terrible. The regulars seemed uncomfortable and left quicker than usual. Manager, I don't need pay for the next two weeks. So if you have to hire those two for the remaining two weeks, just pay them and tell them that they don't need to come to the store anymore. They're in the way. Customers will stop coming. I don't need to be paid until the store settles down too. That's right. I'll eat the Odon as my pay until things settle down. Let's do it with the people who are willing to work. I agree with the manager and the four of us. I think we could take turns taking the day off, and I can't accept customers leaving for reasons that have nothing to do with the taste of the Odon. Thanks. I don't have to pay people who don't work, and I'll pay everyone their fair share of wages. And I'll talk to the part-timers. I asked them to stay with the intention of finding someone within the next two weeks, but they don't seem like they even want to look at my face. After that, I called each of the part-timers and asked them what they wanted to do. I think you said before that you wanted to quit as soon as possible. But if you really don't want to work anymore, you can quit any day you want. What do you say? Okay, good luck at your new part-time job. Then they all said they didn't want to work even for a day. So by mutual agreement, we decided to end things there. And an hour before the store opened that day, when I was the only one in the store who was still preparing the food, Rena came in. Here are all of our uniforms. Oh, thank you. This is what happens when you direct me without knowing your place, manager. Do you really think the girls can run this place? The atmosphere in the store was terrible yesterday. That's Rena and the others' fault, isn't it? I think they're capable of running this place. I don't think this store with delinquent staffs like them will get any customers. I don't think so. She thinks about the store and the customer. I trust her. What? I don't think the store will last a year. Who works for me even without a paycheck? Those girls are not delinquent. With them, this store will become better, I assure you. I really want to punch her! Stop. The real payback isn't going to come from hitting her. It's going to come from us making this place even more successful. No adult ever believed in us, but the manager does. Yeah, there's no way I would let what she says come true. So our store now has four part-timers, Akawa and three of her friends. At first I thought it'd be tough since they were all new to this, but... Manager, I'll change it, so please hurry and make the Odon for table four. They just came in and they look cold. Mana is really thoughtful. Good work, was it called? Yuki is pretty and good natured. I'll take the order from the group of women upstairs. Elisa is boyish and popular with female customers. All four of them worked extremely hard. And they all had a lot of energy and were very good at dealing with the drunk customers. So they quickly became popular among the regulars. Aikawa seems to be having fun at work more than before, too. Hey, Mana! Your hair was pink, but you changed it to green? I know I'm a fool, but I thought about it. Blue or pink doesn't look appetizing, but green doesn't look out of place with Odon, so I decided to imitate cabbage rolls. You have a good eye! I like it! Have a beer! Thank you. Aren't the seats near the entrance cold? 
Would you like a blanket? Oh, uh, thank you. I was just getting a little cold. Would you like a refill? I was just about to call you. I'll have a refill. Make it strong, too. Coming right up. The new girls are all very attentive. They talk a lot with customers, are energetic, and have their own personality, so it's fun to watch. The store is more lively than before. Thanks to them, we didn't have to close the store. And for the next three months, thanks to them, the store got more customers than before, and the number of regulars increased. Manager, they called to apply for a part-time job. Ah, yes. Then come to the store for an interview on Monday at 5 p.m. Manager, if you get a new pair of part-timers, are you done with Mana and the others? They all said they want to work here for a long time to come. What are you talking about? I want you guys to keep working here. I don't want everyone who helped me in my time of need to quit. I want you to keep working with me. Really? I could still work here? Of course. But thanks to you guys, we're getting more customers than ever before. So if we don't get a couple more part-timers, we're all going to be in trouble. And we can't keep the place running on the weekends if we don't all work. I'll teach them to job when someone new joins. Me too. Just make sure it comes with guts. And then we got two new part-timers. About a year or so after the fiasco. Manager, can't you tear out the ceiling of the second floor of the restaurant and make it a three-story building? It's painful to turn away customers when the place is full. I know. It's really thriving these days. And the number of customers who can't get in is increasing. There was something I was thinking about. Hey, can I talk to you guys after work today? We're close tomorrow. You want to grab a drink? So, I just want to make sure... But can you guys actually work here for a long time to come? Of course, we couldn't get a decent job anywhere else. I couldn't get a job anywhere else, but here the manager doesn't say anything bad about the way I look. And my parents are happy. They're really happy that they hired me. I used to be out of place everywhere I went. But now, I enjoy coming to work here every day. And my parents are so happy when I bring home Odon that it's the first time I've been able to show some filial piety to them. Right? The customers are all good people, too. I'm grateful for the manager. If you guys are willing to work with me, I'm thinking of opening another store around here. That's great! I'm thinking of asking Aikawa to be the manager of the new store when I open it. I would also like you four to become full-time employees and work together to protect the store. What? My parents are gonna freak out if I tell them I'm a full-time employee. My mom would cry out of joy, too. Right? I want to be an employee. Thank you so much, Aikawa. If you quit that time, I might have actually closed the store for a while. I wouldn't quit. I like the Odon you make. And I like you too, manager. And so our Odin shop is open for business again today with all of our dependable employees. Welcome! <laughs> it's nice having a manager who doesn't judge people for how they look, but their work performance. I hope the five of them continue to work together to make the restaurant much more prosperous. How did you guys enjoy today's story? Leave the comments below. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.